Hello dear children, welcome back to the Acknowledge series by Amit Publishing House. I am Vandana and we are doing your science book. This is your book 4 and here the name of your book is Science Horizon, Inspiring Tomorrow's Innovators. So children, today we are going to start with a new chapter and this is chapter number 8 of your book. The name of the chapter is Clothes are Protectors. So, as everybody knows that clothes are very necessary for us to protect our body. So, in this chapter we are going to learn why do we need clothes, what are fibers and care of clothes. In ancient times, man used to live in caves. He had nothing to cover his body with. So, in the time in ancient time, we have to say that man was in caves. गुफाओं में रहते थे एंड उनके पास कुछ भी नहीं था अपनी बॉडी को कवर करने के लिए। Gradually, as his mind developed, he started using animal skins, leaves, bark of trees, etc. to cover his body. So जैसे ही उनका mind develop किया, humans का, उन्होंने animal के skin को use करना start किया for making clothes, leaves को start uh, leaves उन्होंने लिए, bark of tree tree ka jo utarna hota hai wo liya unhone etc and many other things jisse wo apni body ko cover karte the then he learned the art of weaving and stitching today people wear many different kinds of clothes but why do we need clothes so baad mein humans ne kya sikha weaving silai bunai sikhi aur uske baad unhone kapde banana sikha so children the question here is why but why we why do we need clothes? Why do we need clothes? Can anybody tell me? Yes, clothes are very important for us to protect our body from different things. So, why do we need clothes? Let's see what's written here. We use clothes to cover our bodies. We also wear clothes because they protect us. So, two things are there to cover our body and also it protects us. Clothes protect us from the heat of the sun's rays. So, suras ki garmi se hame protect karte hain. In summer, we wear clothes that keep us cool. Or summer mein hum cool clothes pehente hain. Jo hame cool rakhe hain. Such as cotton. Clothes protect us from cold weather. Thandi weather se bhi hame protect karte hain. In winter, we wear clothes that keep our bodies warm. Or winter mein mess kapde pehente hain. Jo hamari body ko warm rakhte hain. Garam rakhte hain. Clothes protect us from rain when it rains. So, when we have rain, the clothes are protected. Our body is protected from rain. We use a raincoat, gum boots, and umbrellas to keep ourselves dry. So, we use these things. We use a raincoat, we use a gum boots, and also we use the umbrellas. Clothes protect us from insect, insect bites. So, मच्छरों के काटने से भी ये कौन बचाता है? Clothes. By keeping our bodies properly covered with clothes, we reduce the chance of insect bites such as mosquitoes for biting from biting us. So, हम अपने आप को protected रख सकते हैं कैसे? By wearing clothes. B. Keepers wear special kind of clothes to protect themselves from bee sting. So, beekeepers जो होते हैं, जो मधी मक, जो मधी मक्को की छत्ते से जो हानी निकालते हैं, तो so they wear a special type of clothes जो जो bees से उन्हें protect करते हैं, from their sting. Now you you can see the picture of clothes that are worn in summer, in winter, and also in the rainy season. Clothes protect us from different weather conditions. Some people wear special kind of clothes. For the kind of work they do. So, there are a few people, they do and they wear different kinds of clothes according to the work they do. Students wear school uniform to school. People like doctors, lawyers, or astronauts, firefighters, policemen, and soldiers wear special kind of clothes. So, you have to school, you wear a uniform. Because it's that dress code of that clothes. 
Similarly, doctors, lawyers, astronauts, firefighters and also policemen or soldiers ये लोग भी अलग अलग टाइप के ड्रेस पहनते हैं जो इनकी कैटेगरी कैटेगरी को बताता है दे वी एर स्पेशल क्लोथ्स सो चिल्ड्रेन वी कैन ऑल्सो टेल द काइंड ऑफ वर्क अ पर्सन डज बाई लुकिंग एट दर क्लोथ्स सो जो लोग होते हैं वो किस टाइप का ड्रेस उन्होंने पहनी है उससे हम बता सकते हैं कि दे आर इन विच प्रोफेशन वो कौन सा वर्क कर रहे हैं Here you can see the picture of astronaut, firefighter, student, doctor, lawyer and soldier. और अब आप क्या देखोगे इन सब की ड्रेसेस एक दूसरे से अलग हैं। तो जब भी हम ऐसे लोगों को देखेंगे तो हम तुरंत बता देंगे कि the person is wearing the dress of a doctor or firefighter or an astronaut or a soldier. What are fibers? Clothes are made of fibers. Fibers are thread like material used to make different types of clothes. So clothes क्या है? Fibers से बने हुए होते हैं और ये thread जैसे दिखते हैं जिससे हम different types of clothes बना सकते हैं. What are the types of fibers? Let's learn about them. There are two types of fiber. The first one is a natural fiber. And the second one is the human made fiber. Let's learn about them. Natural fiber, because the name is natural, so यहाँ पे जो भी fiber बनता है वो nature बनाता है. That's why it is called natural fiber. So we get natural fibers from some plants and animals. So कुछ plants और animals हैं जिनसे हमें natural fiber मिलता है. Fibers we get from plants are called plant fiber. So वो fiber जो हमें plants से मिलता है उसे हम plant fiber कहते हैं. जैसे कि Cotton, jute, and coir are plant fibers. We get cotton fiber from cotton plant. Cotton जो है हमें एक fiber है जो कहाँ से मिलता है? Cotton plant से मिलता है. यहाँ ये ये जो picture इसका जो flower है आप देख सकते हो यहाँ पे आपको cotton दिखाई दे रहा है. We wear clothes made of cotton to keep us cool during summer. अब cotton के fiber से हमने क्या बनाया? Cotton की threads बनाई. अब इन थ्रेड से हमने ड्रेस बनाई सो कॉटन के क्लोथ जो होते हैं हमें क्या रखते हैं दे कीप अस कूल ड्यूरिंग समर्स नाउ यर यू कैन सी अनदर पिक्चर वी गेट जूट फ्रॉम जूट प्लांट सो जूट प्लांट से हमें जूट मिलता है सो दिस इज जूट प्लांट अब जूट प्लांट से हमने जूट फाइबर बनाया है यू यू हैव सीन दिस वी यूज क्लोथ्स And bag made of jute fiber. Now, jute fibers we have made bags. And here you can see the picture of this jute bag. We get coir from coconut trees. So, coconut tree, ke jo aapne dekha ho, coconut ka jo husk hota hai, usse jo hai coconut ka fiber banta hai. The fiber we get from coconut tree is called coir. So, coir milta hai isse aur usse humne kya banaya hai? This. We use mats and ropes made of coir. So mats or ropes जो है कॉयर से बनते हैं, which we get from the coconut tree. Fibers we get from animals are called animal fiber. So वो fiber जो हमें animals से मिलता है, उसे हम animal fiber कहते हैं. For example, wool and silk are animal fiber. We get wool from sheep. Here this is a sheep. अब sheep के ये जो आप hair देख रहे हैं body पे, इसको क्या किया था? Shave कर दिया जाता है. शेव करने के बाद इससे क्या बनाया जा रहा है वुलेन थ्रेड बनाई जाती है और फिर उससे बनाते हैं हम वुलेन अपने स्वेटर्स। We get wool from sheep. The wool is taken to factories when the fiber is made into woolen threads, which is used to make woolen clothes. We wear clothes made of wool to keep us warm during winter. So winter season में हम वुलेन क्लोथ्स पहनते हैं that we are seeing here. We get silk from silkworm. We use silk to make clothes uh, and clothes like uh, silk rope and clothes like sari shirt and scarves. So here you can see these are silk worms. These silk worms हैं. ये इन leaves को खाते हैं और फिर ये silk बनाते हैं. Silk का एक cocoon बनाते हैं अपने body की चारों तरफ. फिर उस cocoon से हम क्या बनाते हैं? Silk fiber बनता है. और उस सिल्क फाइबर से बनता है 
silk cloth which is very expensive now let's talk about human made fibers so we have learned children about the natural fiber let's learn about the human made fibers fibers that are not natural but are made by humans are called human made fibers so kuch fiber aise hain jo natural nahi hain jo humans hum humans banate hain unhe hum kehte hain human made fiber such fibers are also called artificial fibers or synthetic fiber so aise fiber ko hum artificial ya fir synthetic fiber bhi kehte hain these fibers are made in factories using chemicals so ye jo fibers hain ye factories mein bante hain chemicals ke through nylon acrylic polyester and rayon are some human made fiber so here you can see children these are a few human made fibers and we use ropes umbrellas and different kinds of clothes made of human made fiber so ab aap dekh sakte ho ye jo umbrellas hain ya fir ye jo rope hai ye human made fiber se bana hai clothes made with synthetic fibers are usually wrinkle free so synthetic fiber se jo bhi clothes bante hain wo kaise hote hain wrinkle free means usme jo hai aap keh sakte ho they look like they are pressed absorb less water usme pani jo hai wo kam absorb karte hain and dry quickly as compared to clothes made from natural fiber aur ye bahut jaldi dry karte hain jo jaldi dry hote hain isse natural fiber ke bane clothes now why do we wear clothes made of different fibers hum aise kapde kyu pehante hain jo different different fibers se bane we usually wear clothes made of cotton during summer so summer mein we use cotton clothes such clothes keep our body cool par aise kapde kya karte hain hamare body ko cool rakhte hain we usually wear clothes made of wool during winter so winter season mein hum woolen clothes pehante hain and such clothes keep our body warm when it rains we wear clothes that protect us from rain so jab barish hoti hai to hum aise kapde pehante hain jo hame rain se protect karte hain clothes that do not allow water to go through them are called waterproof clothes so hum rainy season mein waterproof clothes pehante hain jiske andar pani aar paar nahi ho sakta waterproof clothes are usually made of synthetic fiber so ye jo bhi waterproof clothes hain wo kaise bante hain synthetic fiber se bante hain rain coats umbrellas and gum boots are made of waterproof material so ye jo teeno cheeze hain jo hum rainy season mein pehante hain ye kisse bante hain waterproof material se bante hain jiske wajah se hum gile nahi hote hain ye children you can see the picture of woolen sweater which we wear in the winter season cotton dress that we wear in the summer season and also a waterproof jacket that we wear in the rainy season now we have learned about different kinds of clothes let's learn how can we take care of the clothes we should know that fibers and what fiber our clothes are made of hame pata hona chahiye ki kis fiber ki dress ko hum pehen rahe hain the this would help us take proper care of our clothes so isse kya hoga hum apne clothes ka bahut hi acche se dhyan rakh payenge cotton clothes should be washed properly with soap or detergent so jo bhi cotton clothes hain usse hame properly soap or detergent se wash karna chahiye to keep them clean wearing clean clothes help us stay healthy or ha isse hum kya honge healthy honge agar humne clean clothes pehne clothes may have wrinkles after washing so jab bhi hum apne clothes ko pehnte hain usko pehnne ke baad kya hota hai kai baar usme sikudan aa jati hai jise hum wrinkles kehte hain so they should be ironed to remove wrinkles and make them look clean so unhe sundar banane ke liye neat banane ke liye we should iron them means usse press maarna chahiye taki wo wrinkle free ho sake woolen and silk clothes should be dry clean so jo bhi woolen clothes hote hain ya fir silk clothes hote hain wo sare dry clean hone chahiye we should not soak woolen or silk clothes in hot water as it may change damage the fabric so ye jo bhi woolen clothes ya fir silk clothes hote hain unhe hum hot water mein dip nahi karna chahiye kyunki usse kya hoga fabric jo hai kharab ho jayega we should follow washing or care instructions on the laundry label so laundry label pe kuch washing instructions hote hain that we should follow clothes should be properly 
स्टोर वेन नॉट इन यूज सो जब भी हम कपड़ों को यूज ना कर रहे हो तो उसे अच्छे से प्रॉपरली हमें स्टोर करना चाहिए Woolen and silk clothes should be protected from insects such as moths and silverfish. So, जो भी woolen woolen clothes होते हैं या फिर silk clothes होते हैं, इन्हें हमें insects से बचाना चाहिए. And these are the insects that make hole in such clothes. ऐसे कपड़ों में ये बत ये जो insects हैं वो क्या करते हैं? Hole बना देते हैं. Moth balls or napoleon balls are and dried neem leaves can keep between these clothes to keep away such insect pests. So, as insects go, हम अगर हमें अपने कपड़ों से दूर रखना है तो हमें क्या use करना चाहिए? Moth balls या फिर napoleon balls. A cloth label with general instructions for proper care of the cloth. So, यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो एक cloth label है जिसमें लिखा हुआ है machine wash with cold water, do not iron, do not bleach. ये चीजें लिखी हुई हैं. So these are instructions that are written on every material. Neem leaves keep insect away and a cloth paste silver fish that damage clothes. So ये एक insect बना है जो हमारे clothes को खराब करता है. Now let's recall what we have learned. Clothes are necessary to cover our and protect our body. We wear different clothes in different weather conditions. Clothes protect us from heat. Cold, dust, rain, and insect bites. There are two types of fibers: natural fibers and man-made fibers. Clothes that do not allow water to go through them are called waterproof clothes. Now let's answer the questions. Write five different kinds of special clothes people wear. So children, this you have to do on your own. Now, what are clothes made of? So clothes are made up of different fibers. They can be natural or synthetic or man-made fibers. Now, different uh, differentiate between natural and human-made fibers. Give the example of each. So, the difference between the natural and the human-made fiber is natural fibers are made of natural products, and uh, the human-made fibers are made by humans. And the two examples of each are the two examples of natural fibers are cotton and silk. That is made by nature. And here the two examples of human-made fiber fiber is nylon and polyester. Now name the two types, two main types of fibers. So here the two main types of fibers are natural fibers and man-made fibers. Write three ways in which we can take care of our clothes. So we should wash our clothes with detergent and soap. We should iron them to uh, get it wrinkle free. We should uh, keep them in with uh, when we don't want to use them. We should keep them properly and we can also put napkin balls so that our clothes can be protected. So children, I hope that you have understood the chapter and you have also learned how can you take care of your clothes. And uh, if you have any queries related to the chapter, you can ask me in the comments. And I'll be waiting for you with a new video. Till then, stay related.